Question four, here is an equation. M take away two N's equals 10. When N equals 20, what is the value of M? Well, the first thing we're going to do is write this equation down so we've got a bit more space to look at it. So we've got M take away two times by N. Remember, there's an invisible time sign between the two and the N. Two N means two times by N. And that is equal to 10. Now we're going to substitute or replace the n, which is 20, into this equation. So we've got m take away 2 lots of 20, because n is 20, it says so there, and that is still equal to 10. Now we can simplify it, so we can't do anything with the m yet, so that stays as it is. 2 times 20 is 40, and that is equal to 10. So we're now down to m subtract 40 equals 10. Well, what mystery number take away 40 is 10? Some people at this point may be already be able to spot the answer is going to be 50. 50 take away 40 is 10. If you can't spot that it's 50, then you could do yourself a little flow diagram. So mystery number is m. We're taking away 40 and out pops 10. So to get back to the mystery number, we need to reverse it. We need to go backwards. And when we go backwards, we do the opposite. Well, the opposite of, add, of take away 40, opposite of taking away 40 going this way, is to add 40 and go the opposite way. So 10 add 40 is 50. So again, that tells us that the mystery number M is worth 50. You should always check your answer works. So if we're saying that this mystery number is 50, then when we take away two lots of n, and n was 20, do we get 10? Well, 50 take away two 20s, two 20s is 40, so 50 take away 40 is indeed 10. So we know that m must be the correct answer on 50. For the second part of the question, this time we're told that m equals 20 we've got to find the value of n. So start by writing out the original equation again. So it's m take away two lots of n equals 10. And we're told that m is worth 20. So I'm going to replace the m with a 20. So n, m take away two lots of n equals 10. So 20 take away two lots of n equals 10. So if we're trying to get from 20 to 10, we've got to take 10 off. But that we've got to do that, when we're taking that 10 off, it's got to be two lots of a number. So what number is 10 two lots of? Well, 10 is two lots of five, isn't it? So 20 take away two lots of five is 10. So n will have to be five. 20 take away 2 lots of 5 equals 10. So it works. Quick check. Make sure it all works out. So if m is 20 and n is 5, m take away 2 lots of 5. 2 lots of 5 is 10. 20 take away 10 does equal 10. So 5 is the correct answer.